I truly enjoy performing body diagnostics, examining aspects like the tongue, skin, nails and stool. Often these observations reveal much more about your health than just looking at blood tests. Remember, we're treating the symptoms that affect you, not just the blood markers. Take a moment to check your tongue. It's best to do this in the morning before you clean your tongue or have coffee or tea. So here are the five symptoms that you should look out for. One, if you notice a white or yellow coating, it could indicate a bacterial or yeast infection, dysbiosis or candida. This often happens due to a high intake of carbohydrates, sweets and pastries, combined with low pH levels, reduced good bacteria, antibiotic use or weakened immunity after a viral infection. 2. Symptoms of candidiasis thrush may appear on the mucous membranes of the oral cavity, genitals, and here it is clear as day if you have vaginal thrush in the intestines too. The vagina is not an isolated system. 3. If you see teeth marks on your tongue, it might suggest hypothyroidism or a misalignment of your teeth. To rule out hypothyroidism, check your TSH levels. 1, 2, free T3, 4.5, 6 PMOL L, and free T4, 15, 22 PMOL L. If you haven't tested for antibodies, consider checking anti-TPO and anti-TG, aiming for a result close to zero. 4. A geographic tongue, characterized by patches where taste buds are missing, is often found in individuals with irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. You might notice IBS symptoms like abdominal pain, bloating, and alternating constipation and diarrhea. This condition usually stems from dysbiosis and an imbalance in gut flora, so addressing acidity and bile flow is essential. 5. Tongue with enlarged taste buds. An enlarged taste bud appearance on the tongue can indicate deficiencies in iron or B vitamins, or a bacterial infection. While deficiencies are important to address, it's crucial to understand the underlying reasons for them before rushing to take supplements. Take a moment to breathe and focus on a gradual recovery process. 6. A red swollen tongue is commonly observed in individuals with Crohn's disease and those experiencing significant iron deficiencies. If Crohn's disease is ruled out, it likely points to a gastrointestinal issue. 7. This condition may suggest an aggravation in the digestive system. The approach involves involves addressing dysbiosis and candidiasis simultaneously while examining stool tests and dysbiosis analysis. In any case, all recovery steps will rely on working with the gastrointestinal tract.